The sharp rise in cases of dementia and Alzheimer's in the last 25 years has everyone worried. Otherwise, healthy men and women are falling victim to these degenerative brain diseases, diseases that ruin lives and devastate families. Is there anything we can do to slow or even reverse the march of dementia through our families and friends? Keep listening to discover what you can do today to prevent dementia or Alzheimer's from attacking you or someone you love. The truth is, dementia is a very big problem that's becoming bigger every day. Statistics are grim. 10% of 65-year-olds, 25% of 75-year-olds, and 50% of 85-year-olds will develop dementia or Alzheimer's disease. And the fastest growing segment of the U.S. population is the 85-year-olds. Researchers predict Alzheimer's will affect 106 million people by 2050. It's now the seventh leading cause of death. Scientists now call dementia and Alzheimer's disease type 3 diabetes. What's the link between dementia, Alzheimer's, and diabetes? Well, new research shows insulin resistance caused by eating too many carbs and sugar and not enough fat is one of the major factors that starts the brain damage cascade, which robs the memory of over half the people in their 80s, leading to a diagnosis of Alzheimer's disease. But don't think too much insulin affects only older folks' memories. It doesn't just suddenly occur once you're older. Dementia actually begins when you're younger and takes decades to develop and worsen. Here's the bad news and the good news. Eating sugar and refined carbs cause pre-dementia and dementia. But cutting out the sugar and refined carbs and adding lots of healthy fat can prevent and even reverse pre-dementia and early dementia. People with pre-diabetes or metabolic syndrome have an increased risk of having pre-dementia or mild cognitive impairment. You don't have to have full-blown type 2 diabetes to develop brain damage and memory loss from high insulin levels and insulin resistance. We have all heard of the mind-body effect. Well, there is also a body-mind effect. So you can impact your brain through your diet and heal your body. In fact, your body and your mind aren't two separate systems. They are one elegant, continuous ecosystem. What you do to the body affects the brain, and what you do to the brain affects the body. Cognitive decline and memory loss can be prevented and even reversed. We simply have to optimize brain function, and then we see miracles. The underlying causes of Alzheimer's disease begin with too much sugar on the brain. The cycle starts when we overconsume sugar and don't eat enough healthy fat, which leads to inflammation, which creates a vicious cycle that wreaks havoc on your brain. If you looked at an autopsy of a brain of an Alzheimer's patient, you'd see a brain on fire. This inflammation occurs over and over again in every chronic disease and very dramatically with the aging brain and overall aging process. The good news is you can reverse dementia and cognitive decline. To do that, you must control your insulin and balance your blood sugar levels 
which will allow you to overcome diabetes and obesity and balance your mood, help your focus, help boost your energy level, and prevent all the age-related brain diseases, including Alzheimer's. We used to think we could not reverse artery-clogging plaque that triggered heart disease. We now know otherwise. Similarly, dementia can be reversed if caught early enough and by attending to all the factors that affect brain function, including diet, exercise, stress, nutritional deficiencies, toxins, hormonal imbalances, and inflammation. To do this is quite simple. The basic principles of treating the root cause of disease help optimize your biological functions. Simply get rid of the bad stuff and put in the good stuff. Your body takes care of the rest. It knows what to do and heals itself. These four strategies may help you reverse or prevent dementia. First, balance your blood sugar with a whole foods, low glycemic diet. You can achieve this by taking out the bad stuff, refined carbs, sugar, alcohol, caffeine, processed foods, dairy, and inflammatory omega-6 rich oils, such as vegetable and seed oils. And by putting in the good stuff, healthy fats like avocados, walnuts, almonds, cashews, grass-fed meats, pastured or free-range chicken and eggs, olives, and coconut oil. Second, exercise daily. Aim for a 30-minute walk every day. Try chair yoga or wall pilates and lift weights or do some sort of weight-bearing exercise. Third, control stress by meditation, deep breathing, or yoga. And fourth, try to get eight hours of sleep every night. Aim to go to bed and rise at the same time every day. There are countless diets that are promoted as the best one to heal all your ills. You will have to try various ones to see what makes you feel the best. Overall, the Mediterranean diet, with its concentration on vegetables, olive oil, salads, lean meat and fish, seems to work the best for most people. Another thing to recognize is that as you grow older, you simply do not need to eat so much. If you aren't hungry, then don't eat. There are no rules that force you to eat three times a day. When you do eat, stop when you are full or almost full. The longer the space between eating, the better. This gives your body a chance to utilize the food slowly and helps keep your glucose and insulin levels at their optimum. Eat in moderation from a wide variety of foods, and unless absolutely necessary, that is, recommended by your doctor, stop taking supplements. Your body is able to draw the nutrients it needs from your food, not from artificial concoctions. And there is growing concern that some of the supplements offered are filled with bulk or filler elements, such as sawdust, or other such rubbish. The most important step you can take today to prevent or reverse dementia is to eliminate all sugar from your diet. This will include all processed and ultra-processed foods, all cakes, pies, cookies, ice cream, breakfast cereals, store-bought bread, and condiments such as ketchup. 
Begin to read the labels on the food you buy. If there are things in the so-called food that you have no idea what they are, then don't eat them. Especially avoid products with artificial sweeteners, emulsifiers, food colorings, and gums. If you wouldn't have it in your own kitchen, then why would you eat it in someone else's? There is a proven scientific connection between eating, drinking, sugar-laden products, and highly refined carbs, and developing dementia and Alzheimer's. The rapid increase of these degenerative brain diseases is in direct relation to the obesity crisis and the introduction into our diets of fast foods and ultra-processed foods. If you have strong willpower, then just go cold turkey and stop today. Get rid of every unhealthy item in your kitchen right now. If you need more time, then take it slowly and give up one item at a time. Stop drinking soft drinks and juices one week. Then add store-bought bread the next week. And continue until you're tra you've transformed your diet and eating habits. Your waistline and your brain will thank you. I can tell you from personal experience that it does really make a difference in your life, both physically and mentally. Thanks for watching. Let me know how you get on with your own diet transformation. Until next time, healthy eating and peace.